Malcolm realized that he had a following, consisting of a few ex-Muslims who left the nation after hearing Abiy got rid of Malcolm, but mainly consisting of non-Muslim blacks and also some white people who supported what he stood for. So in 1964, Malcolm founded the Muslim Mosque Inc. and his new organization of Afro-Americans, which accepted blacks from all faiths. Its goal was to rid the political oppression, the economic exploitation and the social degradation suffered daily by 22 million black people in America. During this year also, Malcolm went for the holy pilgrimage to Mecca, known as Hajj, a religious obligation every orthodox Muslim fulfills, if humanly possible, at least once in his or her lifetime. During the Hajj, Malcolm was open to a new Islam, which he never seen before. He saw the brotherhood of the true Muslims, people from all races and colors from all over the world coming together as one. And so he accepted true orthodox Islam. And so Malcolm X changed his name to Al-Hajj Malik. In April 1964, Malcolm departed Saudi to Nigeria and Ghana, where he was welcomed with open arms. His objective was to educate them on conditions of the black man living in America. He witnessed how the whites in Africa lived peacefully among the blacks. In May 1964, Malcolm returned to America. He shared his experience of the pilgrimage and how his trip broadened his scope and gave him insight that for the first time in his life in 39 years, he saw unity and brotherhood. Malcolm was the center of controversy. His speeches were stirring up the black masses. He was being accused of preaching violence. However, Malcolm was for self-defense against any oppression by any means necessary, not violence. Malcolm was receiving a lot of death threats, and since he was always on the move out in the public, he knew that he was going to be killed soon, but that did not discourage him. He was a man on a mission. February 1965, his house was firebombed, and a week later, on the 21st of February, whilst addressing organization of Afro-American unity members at the Audubon Ballroom in New York, Malcolm was shot to death. Whilst delivering his speech, he was shot seven times by the Nation of Islam members. Malcolm died aged 39 on the 21st February 1965.